And so if the south has been, uh, if this is the landscape that we've inherited, right? And if these Confederate monuments, especially the ones created uh, deep into the 19th century, can, can and I would argue should be read as part of this Jim Crow landscape. Okay, so, I mean, what, what really should be our response today? You guys are preservationists. A preservation ethic needs to uh, be a really reflective one and thoughtful one. So this is the question that we need to think about. What do we need to do with these monuments?